I don't know about you, but I've spent a fair amount of money on drone batteries over the last several years. Since drone batteries can be costly to replace, there are several things that I do to get the most out of these batteries and make them last as long as possible. In this video, I'd like to share important information that drone owners need to know about LiPo batteries and how I go about carrying for my batteries that has served me well and hopefully will for you too. So let's talk about drone batteries, specifically drone LiPo or lithium polymer batteries. LiPo batteries work great for drone applications because they have a high energy density, which means they can store a lot of energy in a small volume and weight. Because of this, they are capable of delivering high discharge rates, which makes them ideal for applications that require a lot of power in a short amount of time. For instance, climbing out at full throttle to 200 feet or being able to put out enough power to compensate for windy conditions while flying. LiPo batteries have a limited lifespan, however, typically lasting somewhere between 200 to 400 charge cycles if properly cared for and if you're lucky. Uh, more likely, you're looking at probably 150 to 300, but over time, a LiPo battery's capacity will gradually decrease as the battery is charged and discharged over and over again. This is due to the chemical reactions that occur inside the battery, which cause the battery's internal components to degrade. As the battery's capacity decreases, the runtime of the devices that use the battery will be reduced, and the battery will eventually need to be replaced. It can be harmful for LiPo batteries to be held at maximum charge for an extended period of time. This is because when a LiPo battery is fully charged, it experiences a small amount of internal stress due to the chemical reactions that occur inside the battery. Over time, this stress can lead to a gradual loss of capacity and overall performance. In addition, keeping a LiPo battery at full charge for an extended period of time can increase the risk of swelling or leaking which can damage the battery and pose a safety risk. This is why it's generally recommended to store LiPo batteries at a partial state of charge, roughly around 50 to 60% capacity, in a cool and dry place. Some DJI drones even allow you to set a maximum period of time for the drone to hold a full charge before it begins to self-discharge. On the flip side, you also don't want to over-discharge a LiPo battery either. As a general guideline, most DJI drone batteries have a minimum safe voltage of around 3.5 to 3.6 volts per cell, though this can vary depending on the specific drone model and battery type. Discharging a battery below the minimum safe voltage can reduce its lifespan, cause damage to the battery, or in extreme circumstances, could cause it to combust. This is why it is important to display the cell voltage in the DJI app and not just rely on the percentage figure that is shown by default in the app, as it can be misleading. Unfortunately, as of the time of this video, this is only possible in the DJI Go flight apps and not possible using DJI Fly. The only way to see individual cell voltage in the DJI Fly app is by going into the battery info page, which is located under the safety tab. A good rule of thumb is to plan to have the drone back on the ground by the time any individual cell voltage has reached its minimum safe voltage, as continuing to fly beyond this could shorten the overall life of the battery or cause irreversible damage. The battery menu is also where we can set our low battery and critically low battery warnings. The low battery warning would alert us first with a caution at whatever percentage we have set and the critically low battery warning would kick in at the percentage that we have set for that. I would recommend leaving these set to somewhere around 35 and 25%. At the top of the page, we can see the individual cells in our battery and what the voltages are. This is a good chance for us to see if the voltages are within 0.07 volts of each other, as anything outside of that range could potentially tell us that there's something going on with our battery and we should keep an eye on it. Though DJI drones have what is known as smart batteries, 
which means they have a built-in technology or chip to monitor the state of charge, temperature, capacity, and other parameters to prevent them from self-destructing. These features are built in as a safety and should not be fully trusted as they can potentially fail. I would highly recommend that you not leave LiPo batteries charging while unattended in case of any failure. Excessive heat can cause damage to the battery's internal components and even lead to fire or explosion, again in extreme cases. When a LiPo battery gets too hot, the electrolyte inside the battery can break down, which can cause gas to build up inside the battery. If the pressure from the gas buildup is not released, it can cause the battery to swell up or even rupture. Additionally, high temperatures can cause the anode and cathode materials in the battery to degrade, reducing the battery's capacity and again, overall performance. While it is normal for a battery to generate heat as it is being used and may get quite warm after a full flight, especially in the summer, you certainly don't want to leave your batteries in your car on a hot summer day to let them bake. The same is true during the winter. When a LiPo battery is exposed to low temperatures, its internal resistance can increase, which can make it difficult for the battery to deliver power to the drone. Additionally, when the temperature drops below freezing, uh, zero Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit, the electrolyte inside the battery can freeze, which can cause the battery to swell or even rupture as the ice expands inside. This can lead to permanent damage of the battery and potentially again cause a fire or explosion in extreme cases. If you are going to fly when it is cold outside, it's best to preheat or warm, keep the batteries warm prior to flight. Uh, around room temperature, 65 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Most DJI drones require the battery to be at least 15 degrees Celsius for takeoff. Something else I want to cover while we're on this topic. Uh, I've heard of people trying to cool off their batteries quicker by putting them on ice or in a refrigerator uh, or in front of uh, their car air conditioner to blast them with cold air. Uh, after a flight so that they can get them back on the charger as soon as possible. This is because DJI batteries will not charge unless the temperature of the battery is below approximately 100 degrees. This is not uh, recommended since rapidly cooling a recently discharged LiPo battery while it is still hot can cause to thermal shock to the battery's components and can even damage or destroy the battery altogether. Additionally, cooling a battery too quickly can cause moisture to condense on the battery's surface, uh, which can lead to corrosion and other damage. It's generally recommended to allow a recently discharged LiPo battery to cool down naturally to room temperature. Now, it should go without saying that a battery with signs of physical damage such as punctures or swelling or cracks should not be used as this obviously can compromise uh, safety and the integrity of the battery's internal components and obviously increase the risk of something bad happening. Even if a damaged LiPo battery appears to function normally, uh, using it can still pose a significant risk. The battery may be more likely to stop working, overheat, or catch fire during use, potentially causing damage to the drone, uh, other property, or even injury to people. LiPo batteries are delicate and have a fragile structure that can be easily damaged by impacts or drops. Ideally, LiPo batteries should be stored in a cool, dry place away from any flammable materials. Even better, if you can store them in a fireproof container, such as something like this. This is an old toolbox that I have that I put some drywall on the inside to make some compartments to store batteries. Uh, this works great because I can close the lid on this and store the batteries inside safely. And if one compartment would decide to have an issue, a battery catches fire, the walls in between should help prevent that from spreading to the other batteries. And worst case scenario, I can pick this up 
and get it out of the house versus just having the batteries uh, laying around uh, all over the place on the desk or whatnot. So to sum this all up, uh, don't force your batteries to stay at 100% charge for long periods of time. If you aren't intending on flying for some time, be sure to store your batteries at around 50 to 60% charge at room temperature. Don't force them to stay at that 100% for a long time. Don't expose your batteries to extreme temperatures for any extended period of time. For example, leaving your batteries in your car during the winter or summer months in extreme temperatures. Ensure your battery temperature is at least 15 degrees Celsius prior to takeoff when it is cold outside. Do not try to shock cool batteries in order to get them on the charger faster. Check your batteries for any signs of physical damage or swelling as this can jeopardize the integrity of the battery's internal components. By understanding the principles of how LiPo batteries work, knowing their limitations, and how to properly care for them using the methods discussed in this video, I have gotten the most life out of my batteries with most of them lasting several years and getting hundreds of charge cycles out of them. If you learned something from this video or if it was helpful in any way, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and or leave a comment below if you have any questions. Also, be sure to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Your feedback will help me make even better content in the future, at least in theory. Thanks again for watching and you'll see me in the next one.